Now that you have installed Kalini Nets, these are some of the things you need to do to make sure that you have a good experience. So the first thing that you want to do is, is updating your system. So the way you can update your system is by just typing sudo apt update. So once you type in sudo apt update and press enter, this will update your system. So in case it shows you that it wants a password, just put in your password. It's just that I really ran this command earlier, that's why I don't have the password prompt here. Okay, so it will check for all the packages that are missing on your system or what that are outdated. Then you are going to see that it will show you that it's done and here it's showing us yes, we have this number of packages that can be upgraded so the way you can upgrade is also easy you can use the same command that we used here on top but you just want to type in upgrade there upgrade like that and press enter so this will upgrade all your packages on your system here you press yes so it will upgrade everything on your system that needs to be upgraded so that you're on the latest version of everything. So you just want to give it some time, take a coffee, because this might take a while depending on your internet connection. Okay, so once the update is done, I'll press Ctrl L to play my screen. So once the update is done, you want to install one other important thing which is Git, which will allow you to clone projects from GitHub to use on your system. So here, the way you can install GitHub, same thing, you can just type in sudo apt install git like that. So sudo apt install git, press enter and that will install GitHub for you. So you just want to press yes and click enter. As you can see, you can leave it to do its thing. And as you can see, git is a very small project, so it doesn't take time to install. So as you can see, it's almost done. So you just give it a minute or so, then we'll check what's the version of Git. So as you can see here, I'll just say yes. Okay, it just restarted the service. So as you can see, Git is done installing. So we can even check by typing in Git dash dash version like that. And as you can see, we've got the latest Git installed. Okay, so now that Git is installed, we want to install Tilex, so this is a multiplex um, tool. So the way we have opened this terminal, uh, Tilex allows you to have like multiple terminals in this one terminal, where you can be running two, two or three different tasks under one terminal. You don't need to be navigating through all these different terminals. So the way we can install Tilex is the same thing. I'll bring back the command, but we will say install tilix like that then you want to press enter and you want to leave your system to do a thing so as you can see there we can just say yes and press enter so i'll also give you just a brief uh, explanation of how it works and also for a full tutorial you can just let me know in the comment i'll make one for you okay so now as you can see it is done installing so the way you can use tlx is simple just type in tlx itself like that press enter and it will open up another terminal like this as you can see here okay so I'll make this big so from here now as you can see we can start adding in terminals so add terminal down as you can see i can have two different terminals right now so meaning i don't need to open up another terminal so that i can navigate to it so as you can see i can click in there i can type in for example like that press enter as you can see that's my terminal again i can click in this other terminal and type in maybe an if config like that press enter so as you can see i have multiple terminals and you could continue adding as you can see here i can add one to the right and again i can add another one to the right as you can see so here you can have a lot of uh, terminals so as you can see you've got different ones so this is very exciting because here you might be maybe monitoring some activity that is happening so here you are running commands based on what you are seeing and stuff like that 
so that's how this one works and more tutorial on this just let me know in the comments i'll make a video for you okay so close this terminal okay so just as a quick tutorial on tlx so now that tlx is installed we can also install htop so htop is let's say if you're coming from windows it's the same thing as tax manager you do have a lot in one but it's not very clear to new users so htop allows you to understand what's going on in your system without you having a lot of knowledge and experience with linux so let me show you if we say sudo apt install htop like that press enter okay and leave it to also install so you will see that htop is a very good alternative to the maybe top command of which uh, i'll show you also in comparison why, how what are the advantages of using htop compared to top okay so as you can see here i'll open up another terminal okay so i have two as you can see so the here i'll run top as you can see so here it's showing me all my processes um, and everything going on on my system from here but if i use htop like if for you to use htop you just need to call it htop like that press enter so as you can see one does a very good look and also two everything is broken down the way you would want to view it as you can see to show you how many calls are running so i've set up my virtual machine to have two calls as you can see one and two and what's a load on them and you've got memory out of four gigs it's using 700 and something what's my swap there task running and it helps break down everything and the cool part is i can click the the process that i want and press as you can see from here if you see at the bottom there's f9 there i can click f9 to kill that process and also what's good about it i can search for that particular service for example by pressing f3 so once i've pressed f3 now you can see here saying search so if i search for example java like that so there's nothing with java so that's how you can search for a particular service that you want so if there's any service that you need you just need to call it from there like by pressing f3 so that's how you use h2 okay, okay so, so now for our last uh, command that we're going to run on this in this video uh, we're going to install dog browser okay so the way we should install it is just by typing in sudo apt install dog then space store browser dash launcher press enter it must give my password just put it in the password and press enter so leave it to do its thing and it will ask you to say yes just click yes there so the two browser is installed in our system so we can even open it from our terminal so by just typing in top browser launcher like this so top browser dash launcher and click enter that should be going to browser to open it okay so also while wow, it's opening as you can see it's just since it's the first time so it usually downloads stuff okay so from here under your app menu okay so now app menu here you will set for tor like that as you can see tor browser is installed on the system so that's how we install tor browser and i hope you liked the video and if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any time I release a new video. See you next time.